What's up guys, welcome back to Clash of Clans. This video is going to be the starter video of my new maxed out Tana level 10 series. Now I know this series is going to take ages and I probably never finish it. Even if I do, it's going to take a really long time. But I thought it was a nice general series I could use for Clash of Clans to just show you my raids, progress that I have and all that kind of stuff. And I also wanted to talk about my clan in this video because we're going to have clan war soon and things are about to going to change. So first of all, I got 2.2 mil gold and this is after the few raids I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I am planning on getting my third expo or inferno, but I'm probably going to do the expo because I don't want to get higher my gold and risk losing it so I'm probably gonna use a few gems that I got from achievements so don't worry I didn't buy these those were from achievements and I'm gonna use those to get to my three mil and get that third expo because I really want to fill that place and I want to get rid of this wall use it somewhere else so first of all I'm gonna show you a fail that I actually got well it was not a fail because I still got 242k gold but you're gonna see why soon this guy had an a massive amount of gold available so you can see 500k 500 fucking k and also 400k like elixir so it was a painful thing but I still managed to get like half of it and the reason I didn't get all of this is because I was using my farm troop layout I had like only 15 hogs or 16 I can't remember so they were able to do some damage to it so I can, could get to the resources but they were not able to get all the way around and delete everything. Delete? What the hell, Nick? And kill everything. So I wasn't able to get all of that shit. I was able to get a very nice amount of Dark Elixir. Um, I think I did, like a thousand maybe. So it did pay back for my hogs. But it wasn't enough. As you can see, I'm trying to break through that wall really quick to get through. To get to those resources and the archers. I'm gonna help them soon, right there. I put down a ton of archers. As you can see, that was a lot. I'm using my farming layout and I just use this uh, like archer and goblins and I had some few uh, hog riders from my previous attacks which were not farming so that's why I had all of these so they managed to get two of those resource banks um, and it was uh, it was painful to look at this but at least I got a massive amount of loot as you can see oh on the right 240k that's it so I used yeah 16 hogs so it was painful but I still managed to get a lot and a thousand elixir so let's go to that next one which was a general raid also using hogs and it's not that special but I still wanted to show you so I wanted to have two raids there you go this one managed to get a hundred stars a hundred stars a hundred percent and it was a pretty easy one this is still a tunnel 7 I think it was really easy if I was a tunnel 7 I would have gotten like double the loot because I'm a 10 so the loot penalty is going down way much um, as you can see, I'm just trying to lure out the clan castle first, and there was nothing in it, so perfect for my hogs. And I know I used way too much. You're gonna see that this is like overkill, overkill like a thousand. You're gonna see it. Like I'm gonna drop my hero soon on the left, and on the top, all these archers around to get those three percentage points. Like all these little buildings, and this is a pretty, pretty easy raid. I know most of it was in the gold uh, mines and elixir collectors. But I wanted to fully rate this guy anyways, so I just did it, because I didn't have a lot of archers. I uh, put on my clan castle here, with some wizards. Wasn't really needed, but I still wanted to do it. So these hogs are making their way through. Just digging through this base, it's insane. Now to the dark elixir, which was only 63, so that didn't do much. And let me speed this up, because it's not very interesting. And as you can see, bam, easy 100% and a nice loot. It, loot. It, was, it was pretty good. So now I'm gonna freaking get that expo because I don't like having that much uh, gold. So let me move this thing away. I'm gonna go to the shop and defenses and see these, these are the two left that I have to do and I wanted to go for the inferno tower but I don't want to do it now. So for this video I'm gonna go for the expo, place it down Use 486, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so click, bam. Now we have to wait seven days. I never speed up things with gems because I just wanna use all of my five builders and I don't wanna speed that shit up. So I'm just gonna farm for my five mil, get the close as I can as possible. I'm gonna save up a lot of gems 
and then I'm gonna go for the well, let me go back for the second Inferno Tower. So that's gonna take a while and I'm gonna update you of course about this about once every two days I'm gonna do a video on this series and it's gonna be amazing and now on to my clan. So as you might know the clan is called Shadow Blitz it's freaking full 49 out of 50 actually now I put it on invite only and the trophies have been increased to 1200 because I got a lot of people in there that are pretty low leveled and that's not a bad thing but I just want more people that are higher. So this clan will basically focus on clan wars. So if you're not a clan wars player, please do not even try going in the clan because I'll probably kick you anyways. That's not in a bad way, but after this clan war, because now we have a, let's see, we have 45 people in the war. I can show you our previous one, which didn't go very well. Um, let me go back um, here and then warlog. We lost with one star and I could have made that a tie because as you can see, let me check, fuel map, um, I attacked both of these top players and because of a dragon in the clan castle, which I didn't lure out unfortunately, I didn't get that third star, I would have easily three starred him if the dragon wasn't in there, so I could have made this a tie, but <clears throat> doesn't matter, all of these people did a good job anyways, they did a good job, we just had very weak players, like their bases, they were good in attacking, but we, we should have won this. I wish we won this. So let's go to our current war. This one is going to be tough. They have a lot of tunnel 10 bases, as you can see. This is insane. Like, this guy. There's a guy, like, down here. Like, holy poop. Why are you tunnel 10? I know I rushed it too. But he really did rush it. A wizard tower level 1. Another one level 1. This is just... Wow. <laughs> I can't imagine how he's, like, getting loot or anything. I know I am pretty low for a tunnel level 10 too, but I'm gonna try to get him back up there. And yeah, by the way, my walls are gonna stay level six for a while because I I don't really care about walls to be honest, because in my opinion, the splash damage items or towers are way more important. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, get my second inferno from now on. So I need to get five mil gold, which is insane. So I need to get that gold, and then I'm going to start on my wizard towers, get them to at least level 6, and then my mortars to 6 or 7. 7 is going to be hard, but I'm going to try. And then after those, I'm going to do, let me see, what did I miss? Probably my um, my test slots, because I really like those too. They're like, nobody knows that you got them, and they're like, boom, there's like a level 6 test slot popping up, and it's just insane. So I'm going to do that too. And I guess I'm going to wrap it up for this video right now. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like if you did. Write down any comments on what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already. And see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Peace.